Hello, it's Dan here. I hope you're good. Now, many people turn up to therapy thinking that the thing they're anxious or fearful about um, causes that anxiety or fear. So, you know, fear of flying, you know, flying makes me anxious. Turbulence makes me anxious. Um, public speaking makes me fearful, fills me with dread and anxiety, driving on fast roads, swimming in deep water, socialising, going out, um, working with my boss, being in that environment, you know, whatever the thing is, um, there's, a, there's a kind of assumption that that thing that causes the anxiety, flying, driving, socialising, public speaking, causes the anxiety. Yet we know that's not the full picture because you know, if that was the case, that the one thing directly caused the other, you know, that first thing, the consequence was always the anxiety fear, that then ev everyone would have that everybody in that situation so you wouldn't get people who enjoyed flying you wouldn't get people who you know enjoy, thrive on public speaking uh, or enjoy socializing or you know are happy to, to go and you know drive on motorways or swim in deep water or, or whatever it might be so we know there's a missing step in that assumption um, and that missing step all comes down to what you're doing you know inside of your head um, so the thing, like I said, flying, public speaking, anything else that causes the anxiety, worry, is multiplied by all the stuff going on inside of your head. So your beliefs, your expectations, you know, any catastrophizing you're doing, worst case things you're imagining, uh, worries about what other people think or whether you can cope or whether you're good enough, all those things create the consequence of the anxiety and fear. You know, which in, in many ways is a good thing because, you know, if flying definitely caused fear um, or, or public speaking, you know, necessarily had to cause anxiety, you, you'd be pretty stuck. There wouldn't be much you could do about it, would there? You, you, you just have to endure it or, or avoid it. Um, yet, because it all comes down to the stuff inside your head, you know, there's plenty of stuff we can do, which is where, you know, someone like me comes in, you know, we can deal with the, the things you're thinking to yourself, those thinking patterns, you know, whether they're helpful or not, um, your belief, your expectations, we, we can get things in your mind when you're thinking ahead, you know, more rational, logical, more, more based on fact rather than, you know, anxiety driven or, or your imagination. Um, you know, we can get to a place where you're more in control of the kind of stuff going on inside your head where you have realistic, reasonable expectations, where you just know you, you can have handle whatever comes up and deal with any challenges and you'll be okay, where you know you're good enough, where you believe in yourself, where you know you can handle it, where you know you can deal with it, um, which means that that whole equation changes. So the driving, the fear, the public speaking, you know, all those situations that were causing anxiety now are multiplied by more helpful, more positive um, thoughts and feelings and, and beliefs and expectations um, where you trust in yourself and you know you can cope with it and you feel capable and, and you know you can put techniques and thought patterns and and expectations and all those things fall into place which means that the consequence is you know feeling happier feeling better being able to do stuff feeling calm when you drive on the motorway be, you know, believing that you can if you can swim in shallow water you can swim in deep water um, if you can speak in front of one person you can speak in front of a hundred people um, if you can socialize with a couple of good friends yeah you can talk and socialize with others you can put all those things into place when you get that equation in the right place and recognize that that the key factor in all these kind of anxiety issues is the stuff going on in your head and there's so much we can do that will really help you with that um, you know if you read any of the testimonials on my website you'll see you know, exactly what we've done there um, to, to help people do that and you know, I'd love to help you do that if, if you need some help too or otherwise you know really recognize that there is that part of the equation that can be addressed there are things you can do differently in your behaviors in your feelings in your actions in your thoughts and that's going to lead to feeling so much happier so much better uh, and you just you know getting on with life, enjoying life in, in a fulfilled, positive way. Um, so you take care and I will speak to you soon. Take care now.